CCTV recently showed China's most advanced mid to high altitude, short to mid range air defense missile system HQ 16, along with the HQ 7B and HQ 17 together form a steel barrier for China's field army. First, the HQ 7B is the latest version of HQ 7, short range air defense missile system based on an indigenous 6x6 armored chassis which can hit low-flying combat targets, such as fighters, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. Next, the HQ-17 is an all-weather, low-to-medium-altitude, short-range surface-to-air missile that uses the latest electronic scanning radar and can intercept combat aircraft and crews and air-to-surface missiles. HQ-16 is a medium-range semi-active radar homing surface-to-air missile. It features a vertical launch system, giving it 360-degree coverage and capability to fire in a complicated geographical environment. It is mounted on a 6x6 high-mobility chassis instead of tracked platforms, providing ease of maintenance and better road mobility. A typical formation consists of one command vehicle, one search radar vehicle, three radar guidance vehicles and 12 launch vehicles. Each launch vehicle carries up to six missiles, the latest version of HQ-16 has a strike range of 70 kilometers. Plus the electronic warfare systems that can also launch invisible soft kills on air targets. Together, they will form a joint air defense network to intercept batches and multiple types of targets in the air. In the HQ-16 air defense missile system, the search radar first needs to find long-range targets, and then the information of these targets is handed over to the tracking and guidance radar through the command and communication system. The tracking and guidance radar can get the position of the target more refinery, and guide the missile to fly to the target. Tayong追这种发射的红旗十六导弹腾空出桶，姿态稳定优雅，如同跳跃的舞蹈演员。而在空中突然点火加速，又如同听到发令枪响的百米赛跑选手。现在高空中高抛弹道向下，这个动作被
The two missiles dragged out two smoke trails and rushed towards their respective targets, both of which hit accurately. The three target drones facing the three types of missiles are rushing towards our position from different distances, at different flight heights, and at different speeds. Then, HQ-16, 16, 16, 16. In the closest range, that is the last defense zone, where the Type 90 or PG-99 anti-aircraft 35mm twin guns designed and manufactured by the Chinese company Norinco are positioning for action. As well as, the QW-2 and QW-12 man portable infrared homing guided surface-to-air missile. The proven twin 35mm towed AA gun system is a high-performance, extremely accurate and reliable air defense gun which was designed to engage high-speed, low-flying aircraft, helicopters, drones and cruise missiles. The anti-aircraft guns can effectively intercept low-altitude targets at close distance as the firepower network, woven by the amazing rate of fire. After a large number of shells shot to the target area, they can form a barrage in the air, and the fragments formed by the explosion of several hundred or more bullets can be enough to destroy any target close to the area. However, it is not easy to achieve precise strikes, because most anti-aircraft artillery shells do not have guidance capabilities. In order to hit the target, it is necessary to accurately calculate the target's flight speed and the flight time of the projectile. Even the flight direction of the target also needs to be accurately predicted. In the last shield of the defense, the reason why the anti-aircraft artillery has still been used is closely related to its anti-low altitude, anti-jamming, anti-electronic interference, and other combat capabilities. At the same time, the modern small-caliber anti-aircraft guns cooperate with the automatic system composed of radar and computer, which greatly improves the combat capability and response speed. Small-caliber anti-aircraft guns have unparalleled advantages of cost-effectiveness in low-altitude defense. Therefore, in scenarios such as intercepting cruise missiles, UAVs, helicopters and attack aircraft, small-caliber anti-aircraft artillery at a close range has become an indispensable weapon in the last air defense barrier. These new anti-aircraft guns are completely different from manual operation. The current double-barreled 35mm anti-aircraft gun can actually be automatically controlled by multiple gun trucks in a command vehicle. It has an advanced photoelectric fire control system. This is the central nervous system in automated firing mode. It looks like a simple vehicle, but it has a series of advanced equipment such as search radar and tracking radar with identification of friend and foe. This system also has a strong anti-interference ability. When entering the fast combat mode, the fighters only need to press two buttons, intercept and then fire, and the rows of guns can automatically fire thousands of shells at an air target. While shooting at high speed, many fired ammunition can form a barrage in the air to hit the incoming missile. There are all kinds of hard bullets in the barrage. Enemy missiles will be torn apart when they hit the hard bullets barrage. In this way, we achieve a more effective air defense and anti-missile. More importantly, China can now equip 30mm artillery with even smarter ammunition. It is a programmable ammunition. Here we show a series of ammunition. 
the most advanced 30mm ammunition should be this kind of programmable. There are actually a lot of black hard pellets between the warhead and the propellant. Before they are exploding, the onboard chip will pre-calculate in real-time based on what type, and sense a speed and altitude of the enemy's air target to determine where and when these hard projectiles are most beneficial to explode, and then explode in accordance with a pre-set a planned barrage, rather than saying in the past that there are many kinds of ammunition that can only explode after sensing the target. The killing effect and hit rate of this typed programmable ammunition are higher. The QW2 is the third generation shoulder launched, all aspect IR homing, fire and forget, surface to air missile. The minimum operating altitude is 10 meters, the operating range is up to 6 kilometers, and the missile's reaction time is below 5 seconds. As long as aiming correctly, the QW2 can achieve considerable damage effects on a target. In terms of design, the QW2 portable air defense missile uses semi-prefabricated fragments and is a warhead of the killing and blasting type. The expected damage fragments were formed during the explosion. The size of the fragments is larger than that of ordinary anti-personnel bombs. Since the protection of low-altitude flying targets is generally weaker than that of ground-armored targets, missiles can basically achieve, hit and destroy for sure. At the same time, it adopts unique infrared filtering and imaging technology, which can have strong anti-interference ability against various spectrum infrared decoys released by the target. This enables QW2 to effectively distinguish the target signal from strong man-made interference and complex environmental interference, and accurately capture the real target. The QW2 features a newly developed dual-band passive infrared seeker with strong resistance to heat flares dispensed by the target and solar, ground and engine heat, thus improving the missile's performance in day, night, all weather conditions. The latest version QW-12 enhanced the advanced seeker technology able to distinguish decoys from actual missiles and threats much more effectively. The missile was completely undisturbed by the decoy and hit the target. After the missile is fired by the shooter, the booster engine pushes the entire missile body out of the launcher. After flying a safe distance, the main engine ignited in the air to fire the missile towards the air target. The eight bright spots separated in the air are the eight jamming shots or decoy shells used to lure missiles. From the ground to sea, the size and brightness of these eight decoy shells seem to be very similar to the target's own infrared light source. But the QW-12 missiles seemed undisturbed as if to lock up the target drone, completely destroying the target. The new generation of QW-12 has stronger detection capabilities. Moreover, it can also deal with more complex decoy. The anti-jamming test of the seeker on the missile is one of the most critical tests in the development process of the shoulder-launched, all-aspect infrared homing, fire and forget, surface-to-air missile. Whether the anti-jamming method of the seeker is effective, and how to verify it, researchers have thought of many ways. Today we are going to restore such a test on the spot. Unlike many technical experiments, one of the steps in our experiment turned out to be climbing a mountain. About a few kilometers across from the top of the mountain, the missile lead for testing is already in place. Next, the test work is not that complicated. We first ignite the simulated infrared source, and then the missile seeker in the laboratory will capture and track the infrared source target. The decoy shells placed on the launcher are then fired. The detection capability of the QW-12 is stronger than that of the QW-2. Moreover, it can also deal with more complex decoy, which can resist the interference of more decoy shells. The seeker has now turned. Decoy shells are about to be fired. Now the decoy rounds have been fired, pretty fast though. I wonder if they can fool our missile seekers.
The device then records the signal from the seeker's view to determine what the missile's eyes actually see. To us, this looks like a wonderful fireworks display, but don't forget that the real test is the missile's seeker. Yes, the tracking is successful. This period of time is the anti-interference stage. Decoy rounds were fired during this period of time. Yes, four decoy rounds in total. Two pieces are thrown together, and the total duration is about 1.4 seconds. At that point the decoy shell has exited the field of view of the missile seeker. It sees target only and continues to capture the target, that means the tracking is successful. Right. In the previous live ammunition test, the QW-12 successfully intercepted the target in the face of eight jamming decoy shells thrown by the target drone. It should be pointed out that no other country's similar missile has publicly demonstrated such a capability. Such anti-jamming capability gives the QW-12 missile the confidence to deal with air threats under modern warfare conditions. But then we arranged another test on the range to test the QW-12's ability to deal with high-speed targets. This is a high-speed target. It is a target modified from a 122mm rocket with an infrared light source. Its flight speed reaches 360 meters per second. It simulates a fighter jet or a cruise missile. We would use the QW-12s for head-on strike, so that their relative speed would be very large, capable of reaching twice the speed of sound. Moreover, the volume of this rocket is much smaller than the average fighter jet. This presents a great challenge to missile seek and track capabilities. On the QW-12 we will see some small windows like this. These are laser proximity fuses. It senses the location of the target through a laser and precisely plans the moment of detonation. In today's tests, the performance of the laser fuse will also be challenged by high-speed rendezvous. After a flash in the air, we were surprised to see that the bright spot of the target split into two pieces after the encounter. This looks like a direct dynamically hit. The QW-12 can also be combined with the vehicle platform, with more advanced detection equipment and control systems, to create a light and high mobility field air defense system. More effectively counter air threats including fighter jets, cruise missiles and drone.